let's form the local SFS matrix for a frame element. So as we said before, we're looking for a stiffness matrix that relates the no local nodal forces, F1x, F1y, M1z, F2x, F2y, M2z, which again are nodal forces in the local coordinate system, to D1x, D1y, Phi1z, D2x, D2y, Phi2z, which are the nodal displacements for each element. And because we have six degrees of freedom, two nodes per element, three degrees of freedom per node, we're looking for a six by six stiffness matrix for a frame element. First, let's expand the stiffness matrix of a truss. In a truss, I only had F1x and F2x, but I can actually add the F1y and M1z, F2y and M2z to make this a six by one vector. And I can add the corresponding degrees of freedom, D1y, Phi1z, D2y, and Phi2z to make a six by six local nodal forces. And in order to make this six by six local stiffness matrix for a truss element, all I have to do is to find the corresponding locations for D1x, D1y, Phi1z, D2x, D2y, Phi2z, and populate this matrix with the values from the local coordinate system or local surface matrix for a truss that I found before. So I know that D1x and D1x would be one, so this one would be one. D2x, D1x would be minus one, there. D1x and D2x would be minus one, here. D2x and D2x would be one, here. And I, would, I put zero for all the other elements uh, or components of this matrix that didn't have any values before. Next, I can move on to do the same thing for a beam element. I did not have F1x and F2x for a beam element, neither did I have D1x and D2x for a beam element. So what I can do, if I come back here and write those values again, this is D1y, E1z, D2x, D2y, and Phi2z. I only had these values, D1y and D1y, which was 12, Phi1z and uh, D1y, which was 6L, but I don't have any values for D1x or D2x. That's why I put zeros here and in this column, so they're all zeros. And also, this row is zero. All the other parts of this matrix are filled with corresponding portions of the stiffness matrix that we found for a frame or a beam element. So I have a six by one nodal local forces, six by one local nodal displacement vector. So I have a six by six local stiffness matrix for a frame element. Perfect. So I have two stiffness matrices, one for a truss, one for a beam, which are both six by six, and I can use them to form the local stiffness matrix for a typical frame element. So what I would do first is I change the EA over L for a truss to E over L and factor the A out, and then convert the EI over L cubed to e, e, e over L times I L or I over L squared. And I can factor the E over L and say that if CB is equal to I over L squared, I will have this equation. Now using the two surface matrices that I found before, one for the truss and one for the beam. And since they were both six by six, I can add them together and find this stiffness matrix, which is six by six for a frame element. So this column corresponds to D1x, this one to D1y, Phi1z, D2x, D2y, Phi2z. And so this row, this row, this column, and uh, this column are filled by the elements from the local surface matrix of a truss, and the other rows and columns are filled by the elements from the local surface matrix of the beam.
So we found the surface matrix for a typical frame element.